So based on what we learned from yesterday, that is how to approximate the pH when you add some base or acid from the burette and um, how to calculate the pH. So now in this case, we are going to calculate exact pH when you add some volume. Okay, so in this case, we can see that 20 milliliters of 0.2 molar HBr titrated with a 0.1 molar KOH. All right? So then calculate the pH of the resulting solution when the following volumes of KOH have been added. So we can see that 10 milliliter of KOH is added. So how can we do that calculation? Let us go ahead and see this one. So what we are doing first is I will just explain with the equation HBr plus KOH gives you KBr plus water. Okay, so everything is balanced, so I don't have to worry about anything. And now here, HBr is 20 milliliters and 0.2 molar, and KOH is 0.1 molar and 10 milliliters. Make sense? Okay, so now what I will do is, once you have the volume and once you have the molarity, I can calculate number of moles, right? How many moles are going to be here? 20 times 0.2 is 4, right? 4. Since it is milliliter, I will write millimoles. Yeah. And same way I can calculate for KOH, number of moles equal 0.1 times 10, that equal 1 millimoles. And now we know the stoichiometric relation is 1 to 1. How much are you taking HBr? That much KOH will get neutralized, correct? Okay, so here I have 4 millimoles of HBr and 1 millimoles of KOH. How many moles will get neutralized? One. One, because that is the limiting now. Okay, we don't have 4, so only 1 KOH, so that will limit the neutralizing thing. So here 1 mole will neutralize. So how many left here? Three. three millimoles, we call that one as excess, right? Three millimoles excess. So, in the solution, we will have more of which one? HBR. HBR. So, that will decide the pH, correct? So, now we have to calculate how much is the hydrogen ion concentration in order to find the pH. So, because hydrogen ion concentration, because HBr contribute hydrogen ions, correct? So, now what we will do is, we are going to find the concentration of HBr, that is nothing but molarity. So, how can I calculate this? Number of moles of HBr left divided by total volume in the mixture. So, what is the number of moles left here is 3. What is the total volume? 20 plus 10 is how much? 30. So 3 divided by 30 is how much? 0 0.1. 0.1 molar. If you know the concentration of HBr, that equals that equal concentration of H plus, both are same, correct? Because that's a strong acid. So then you can calculate the pH by taking negative log of hydrogen ion concentration. Will you agree with me? Yeah. That equal negative log 0.1. That equal how much? 1 log 10. That will be 1. Does that make sense to you? Um, so 30 is the total, right? 30 is the total. Let's go ahead and see. HBr again is the same, right? That is 20 milliliter 0.2 molar. So how many moles will be there? We already calculated. That's going to be 4 millimoles. Okay? And 40 milliliters 0.1 will be again 4 millimoles. That means both 
acid and base both are same number of moles that means it is going to cancel each other neutralize each other so if it is neutral solution the ph is going to be 7 so we don't have to worry too much if it is same number of moles and now the next one is going to be 45 milliliter of koh in that case what we will do so 45.0 ml koh with the same concentration 0.1 molar so 20 milliliter of hbr and 0.2 molar hbr will be the same number of moles very good 4 millimoles and now we have to find the millimoles of koh how can i get it 45 times 0.1 so how much is that going to be 4.5 millimoles after getting that you have to decide which one is limiting which one is excess so how many moles will neutralize four thank you so that means this is this is going to be the limiting reagent this is going to be the excess how much is going to be the excess 0.5 millimoles so if you have the four excess millimoles what is the next step we will find the concentration right concentration of koh will be we can use m equal n over v number of moles is 0.5 millimoles and volume total volume now it is 65 so 0.5 divided by 65 is how much excellent 0.0077 that is our molarity of koh since this is strong base that molarity is same for our hydroxide ion concentration will you agree okay so if you have the hydroxide ion concentration what can you find poh so poh is negative log of hydroxide ion concentration so that is negative log of 0.0077 how much is that going to be 2.11 okay that is our p oh are they asking to calculate poh or ph excellent subtract from 14 so ph equal 14 minus 2.11 how much is that going to be 11.89 is going to be the ph is that make sense yes because it is base it's a strong base so the ph should be 11.89 that makes sense correct